I'm Andrew Budd, I'm the executive chairman of Mblocks. Mblocks is the world's largest mobile transaction network and we carry SMS traffic for uh, a wide variety of transport related companies doing ticketing, customer information uh, and mobile payments. We're at the London Transport Museum today, the home of the history of the development of public transport by bus, by rail, uh, here in London that stimulated the growth of this, of this great city. Uh, and we're here to host uh, a seminar uh, about mobile ticketing involving people from all across the value chain, both in the UK and from many parts of Europe. We have nearly 100 people here from train operators, from people supplying technology to the industry and mobile operators. So everybody who needs to collaborate in order to bring a new generation of mobile ticketing to consumers. Uh, we've heard survey results today that consumers are dying to have mobile ticketing. In the high 90s percent of people said that they would like mobile ticketing um, if it could be made available to them uh, easily. And, and mobile ticketing is a, a classic example of a business application which is completely win-win between the mobile operators and the, the enterprises supplying the service because the mobile operators have a number of absolutely key enabling services that they can supply through companies like Mbox uh, to transport providers uh, in order to make the experience faster, more immediate, more simpler and to create a better user experience. And those services are so valuable that the mobile operators actually get paid for them. So they make incremental revenue from supplying. These services include the provision of SMS, the supply of sender pays data, so that the so the data is free to the consumer and paid for by the transport companies and in some parts of the world mobile billing that is charging for transport tickets through the mobile phone bill in each case the mobile operator is charged is providing some valuable services and is getting paid for it. The transport companies really relish the use of those services because they're extremely cost effective and they make the customer experience very fast very simple and very easy so the business model works for the content for the, for the transport providers and it works for the mobile operators. Today's discussion was about the delivery of, of uh, electronic tickets to the mobile phones to, to give the customer the opportunity to avoid having to queue up uh, at a ticket office or having to go to a machine but just to, to buy a ticket on the internet say and have it delivered directly to their mobile phone so that when the ticket inspector comes around they're able to, to, to flash their phone at him, he has a reader and it's done very simple fulfillment of the ticket superseding the old paper ticket. There was also some discussion about being able to pay for the ticket online. Um, those who have remote train operators and bus operators who have established relationships with consumers can take their credit card details and activate a payment using, um, using that method. Um, there was some discussion about billing to mobile phones. It's happening in some places. We heard about how uh, many, many tickets in public transport tickets in Stockholm are being purchased on the mobile phone. Uh, there was a general agreement that we're not quite there yet, the economics don't quite work yet for doing that in the UK, but I think there's a degree of optimism that we will get there because of the, the value to the consumer, the value to the mobile operators, and therefore ultimately uh, the value to the transport operators. We've got some more work to do to make that happen.